Hey guys, Austin from Griffin Armament. I'm excited to bring you guys a new line of videos on sound testing. About a year and a half ago, we began putting together uh, a new system on state-of-the-art equipment, and we realized that we didn't want to give you guys numbers in post-process video edits, the kind of stuff we've seen for 14 years. We wanted to bring you a totally different system that challenged metrology people, challenged ourselves, and that brought you guys real data in real time out of the system itself in a way that we can deliver transparent data in a way that nobody else can. And we, we appreciate it if you guys would stay tuned and watch these videos, they're gonna be exciting. My experience in testing silencers goes back 12 years with, with this company, Griffin Armament. I also followed the testing of sound suppressors with people like Al Paulson for at least 12 years prior to that. So 24 years of following testing in this industry, sound suppressors. Uh, it's important to uh, do business with companies that have a reverence for testing products. That'll help you as a consumer have a positive experience with products because you'll be dealing with products that uh, are highly functional in this product category. For a little history in sound suppressor testing, this industry of sound suppressors in, in the USA has essentially uh, always used Brulein Care equipment. That dates back to probably preceding the 80s. Brulein Care people uh, in, in Denmark demonstrated in the 60s with the 2204 the ability to uh, assemble very precise, uh, very high grade laboratory style sound testing equipment. And they did that by like matching capacitors and sorting electronic components and having a very critical nature in their assembly of hardware. Hardware is, in my opinion, the strength of Bruin Care. So when we wanted to go to a more modern uh, system than the 2209, which was a great analog system, very precise, very uh, easy to use, very hard to uh, hard to screw up, something we could take out in the field in the rain. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we're, we're coming to more of a lab system that is better suited for indoor testing. Uh, and the system we're working with uh, going forward in the future here is the LAN XI. Uh, that name has something to do with the fact that it takes uh, Ethernet uh, and puts data to the computer. It's, it has a lot of capabilities. Uh, it's a three channel system, so that it can sample simultaneously from three uh, microphone trans transducers. It also samples at 252,000 cycles per second, which allows it to not only meet 1474D, but also exceed 1474E uh, testing requirements. Uh, this system has a very high degree of accuracy. Uh, from my brief uh, exposure to it, I, I wanna say it's at least twice as accurate as the 2209 uh, that we previously used. However, that, that accuracy of the 2209 was already plus or minus one decibel, so we're probably having that to about plus or minus half a decibel in the impulse noise range. So very accurate equipment, the ability to sample from three microphones, uh, the ability to output that data uh, in real time to a spreadsheet that we can screen capture and show you guys uh, all that. Those are the true uh, positive benefits of this system. So I've had 24 years to think about this and here's how we're gonna conduct our testing. We're gonna use 4944A microphones in three locations. Two of those locations are going to be in Brule and Care headset adapters attached to our ear protectors. And that gets them as close as possible anatomically to the shooter's left and right ears for scientific significance. We're going to place our third microphone one meter left of the unsuppressed firearm muzzle. And that's where we're going to keep that microphone for the duration of the testing that eliminates variables and also removes the microphone a little bit of distance from the supersonic flight noise, which is often louder than the silencer we're going to be testing. 
Our course of fire is going to be one unsuppressed reference shot. And the reason why we're going to be taking one of those is because those shots are extremely stable. They are, every shot will average within a half a decibel of the average. And this is class one equipment. It's accurate to plus or minus one decibel in that range of amplitude of unsuppressed gunfire. So in essence, we're in, we're in a place where we're scientifically insignificant at less than half a decibel of difference. We're then going to fire a five round average suppressed because the suppressors do have influences like first round pop as well as high and low uh, staggering of shots. And, and that's going to be our testing procedure. So we want to demonstrate the testing method, but first we want to demonstrate the capture of data in real time. So the method we're going to be using, we're going to start a screen recorder. And at that point, we're going to pull up the software, which is the, the template, but we've already had the software up. We're going to hit the calibration screen, press F2, pull up the calibration applet, select the calibrator, go ahead and start. So I grabbed the 4231 calibrator turn it on, apply it to the muzzle microphone. Then I'm going to grab the uh, left ear. followed by, of course, the right ear. Then I just Hit stop, close the applet, pull up the measurement screen, name the Excel report. It's going to be uh, data transfer real time. Choose a template, hit start. Apply the safety. That first noise will bring up the template where we'll, where we'll derive our data. I'll go to the five shot screen. And that demonstrates acquisition of data in real time. With that, we'll move to the uh, demonstration of the actual testing method.